know, two takes is a take and a two and a two and a take. Bada bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> the East Pilbara is home to many things. Most of those things being void of humanity and thus the accidental art it creates. But if we were to pick one place in the entirety of East Pilbara that could be considered a cultural centre, like Melbourne in Australia or the Cuesta Casa in Kalgoorlie, I think we'd have to pick East Yemen. This part of town is slightly sectioned off from the rest of the place, by which I mean the world. It's a world up there, it's our own East Pilbara, I tell you. That's a good thing because the place is often prone to political takeovers by stray dogs. Unlike unions, who aim for collective bargaining, or corporations, who aim for laundering, these dogs know where to hit a man at his most vulnerable minibus tires. I wouldn't be surprised if the dogs tape o the, 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 over. Yeah, they just tape. The dogs get some mask and tape right, and then they just they just TP everyone's house in East Newman. It'll actually make Newman look cleaner somehow. <laughs> just just make make East Newman cleaner by taping over it. Not with any special tape, just regular old mask and tape. And only like five rolls of it to cover the entire town. Just, I want to see what that looks like. Lynn Craigie, our shy present, just has to pick up that red telephone and just like call up the emergency service. I don't know. I don't know who our first response is. It's either just a local ranger or like first response against an enemy invasion of stray dogs it would either be the local animal control, that Polish dude who lives in town, I forget his name, sorry, that deals with snakes. Him, they'd either get him to do it, or the entirety of the Pilbara Regiment, which is used in case of invasion as as front as behind the lines defense. So basically Finnish snipers, but in the desert. Yeah. Lynn Craig he puts up the red telephone and says, No, it's too dangerous to take it back. We'll have to cut our losses and leave East Newman behind. We lost too many tires today. It's interesting to note that unlike Jigalong, which when they had a dog problem decades ago, we forced to cull most of the dog population. Newman is just big enough to be able to cut our losses if needed, but not quite big enough to put in more sophisticated measures. Well, they Unless have, you count the dog part. They have been um, putting out traps though. Yes, they've been doing the red dog dirty move. If you're a new man to this town, you may be wondering why there aren't many drink catalogues around here. <laughs> I've no idea if you are wondering about it, but there is an indistinct possibility. Well, East Newman's most famous art installation, their Sydney Opera, so to speak, is an interactive, constantly updating catalogue of available alcoholic beverages of the bottle shops, represented by shattered glass and broken cardboard boxes. I wonder what's on the menu of the bottle shop today. Mm. Oh yeah, seems they have some Jack Daniels on discount lately. Of course, plenty of the export as well, that's always an option. Things are selling spam now too. <laughs> spam in their empire, aren't they? Ah, they finally have cruisers back, that's good. Hmm, I'm gonna get me some of those later. The shattered glass represents the shattering human spirit as it keeps trudging on, and the ripped cardboard displays how we as a species are out of our depth in this modern world. With ever-changing nature represented by constantly changing array of bottles scattered around this part of town. At least that's my interpretation. Similar installations exist in other parts of Newman, but none of them as big as there is. If you really want to just display something, you should just chuck it in the east. Because, like, it's, it's the, it, everybody drives past it, whether you like it or not. Everybody drives past it in east, mainly because uh, the east is like the Annie Griffith Maze of Doom where you enter and you probably will never leave. Some parts of the town have enough glass in them that seem to be trying to replicate Sunny Shore City from Pokemon Pearl. Except, you know, instead of solar panels, it's broken out of glass. Oh. And we're back. It's only been three weeks, and in that time I lost my $15 Kmart hoodie. F in the chats, boys. We will remember you Kmart hoodie. $15 well spent. One thing about East Newman is the roads. You guys ever notice the roads in Newman that it's got those black lines of like tar? We only saw those lines in Germany, but I think they did exist in a couple of the roads. I would still take melted tar over potholes any day. I hear in the eastern states they have potholes in the roads that are just off the highway. It just makes me think. Dude, your combined GGB is 10 times out of Western Australia. Why can't you Eastern States get a decent freaking road? There were two major differences between Geraldton and Newman that I took for granted. 
first was much like my dream girlfriend, Newman is flat. That it makes it so much easier to drive in a manual. You don't friggin' stall it up a hill. Though I never did that in the truck. Very, very, very proud of myself. Did fail to park at least five times though. And they think I ran a red light once. But only barely, it's, it's all good. Second was Jordan has nowhere near as many abandoned houses. Like, I know you guys always complain about those abandoned houses in human being with the roots of crime, problematic, and they cause trouble and all that. But let's be real, they do provide one economic benefit. You can just park into an abandoned house whenever you lose directions, or you just need to stop for a minute to check something important. Absolutely awesome. I know it's cost probably way more millions than it was worth, just having those abandoned houses boarded up there, but totally worth it in my mind. Most of the abandoned houses are in East Newman, which makes sense because of all the places where you're going to be checking directions, it would be the Andy Griffith Maze of Doom, that is East Newman. I swear, that place is a cursed, inescapable maze. I was driving in there recently, which is why I have so much more hair, it took me that long to get out, I grew a beard. I was driving down East Newman, and everywhere else around Newman there were dark clouds, in Newman there weren't dark clouds, and then I entered into East Newman, and not only were there dark clouds, the light level entering East Newman dropped at least five levels. It was... I could barely see with my headlights on. I had the urge to turn on the high beams in a neighborhood. Didn't do it though because I'm a good upstanding citizen. You know, around Christmas time last year, the way the post office delivered mail was through motocross kids. They did a poor job I heard, but that's besides the point. They said it was because they were understaffed, but the real theory I have is because those motocross kids are the closest thing you're going to get to native animals in Newman, besides stray dogs. So their acclimatization to the East Newman landscape allows them to navigate the streets and survive somehow. Pretty sure that's how the post office delivered Christmas presents and essential supplies to those stranded in East. The raw beauty of East Newman in my eyes can only be rivaled by one other place in this entire state, nigh in this entire world. And that would be Mandra. Oh, Mandra, where there are McDonald's next to Methadomes, next to low tier private Catholic schools, next to primary schools. And retirement villages in the distance. Such a beautiful display, and honestly I do think that Mandra is pretty cool. I, I just can't get it out of my head. It fits so perfectly. McDonald's next to Methadones. What a wonderful together at last. I mean, comparing Mandra to Newman is not that fair because, you know, Mandra has a GDP. They have more than just a McDonald's, whereas for a while Newman didn't have anything. We lost, we didn't have any fast food places for a while because, you know, Chicken Tree closed down and then came Panawari Shopping Centre, thanks to Kevin Michelle, and we finally got a Chicken Tree. And I do have to say, that is one of the nicest fast food places I've been to in terms of how it just looks. It's got a photo, for Christ's sake. How many places have photos of things? That is all I'm willing to say about East Newman. You're going to have to experience the vast rest of it yourself if you want to fully just take in the unique neo-modern whatever you call it art that is that part of town. It is the cultural masterpiece of the world. Given its budget, I'd say it is probably the most effective use of money in the universe. Quite a minor promise, I do say. East Newman was meant to be built as a place for families to live, but now it is a place for not only families, but also lonely kids to enjoy. What a place, East Newman, what a place. All the members form a Congo line And the Christmas message is written on the parliamentary walls And the Christmas balls